Hey there, YouTube. <clears throat> it's me, Nick from Hot Bubbles. I am back with my red palm oil soap that I made on yesterday. I did it hot process. Today, as you can see, did a little simple design on top. And I used a bit of 24 karat gold mica to enhance that design. And I'm going to cut it with my crinkle cutter. I have never did a cutting, done a cutting video. So this is the first. It's kind of hard to do because I film with my phone. But we'll see how it turns out. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cut. I like to leave my ends intact. People like the ends. One day I will graduate to one of those really nice cut log cutters. But today is not that day. I like to cut with the two pieces. Look, that's how it goes. It's kind of hard. Sorry about the camera work and this soap is completely cured because it was done hot process wow. that beautiful orange a little bit of gold on top there is that orange I don't know if it's going to stay this color. I hope that it does. And forgive my heavy breathing. I have <laughs> chronic bronchial issues. And it's allergy season. Spring, my enemy. My lovely enemy, though. So it sounds like I'm like, <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> very smooth I like to cut two at a time not making much of a mess I think this is going to be a really hard soap I'm loving that gold that one has a little flick of lighter soap in it. It's not a bubble. Just lighter soap because it was hot process. I love the color of this. I love how it came out. Oh, one little bubble. One little bubble hole. But I'll fix that right up. decided because of the design I put on top that I would use my crinkle cutter and I'm glad I did because I like how it's looking yeah. looks wonderful So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bars, and then this is a smaller bar that I can use for testing samples. I've actually already tested 
tested this one. Um, it had a little bit over. I made a two pound. It was about two and a half pounds. So I filled my mold and then I had two little loaf molds. Because I can show you that too. And I just plopped what I scraped out of the pot into the little loaf mold. I have I got these little molds from Walmart. I'm loving them. They weren't that expensive. And they're great for overflow. And I can actually like show you what I do for samples. I take the little loaf mold and I cut it just like a just like I cut the regular slices. And I'll actually come back and slice these in half. And that makes a perfect little soapy sample. So yeah, makes nice little chunky samples, but I usually cut these in half again. So, when I have two hands, I'll slice those in half again, and those make my samples. It's still a little tacky, um, but it's very hard. Well, not very hard. It's tacky, but it has a nice um, texture to it. It's not leaving. You can see that. It's still leaving. That's from the samples. But this... It's for me touching this one. So it leaves. It's a little bit wet. But by the end of the day today, it should be completely dry on the outside. I'm going to put them in my drying space. Love the gold on top. Very simple design. And lovely. Love the color it came out. Actually still looks like pumpkin or sweet potato pie filling. Yeah, so that's how my red palm oil and shea soap came out. Small batches, great ingredients, great for your skin. This is Hope Bubbles. You guys have a great day. And once again, it's a beautiful sunny day in Louisiana. There are bees buzzing outside my window. So I'm going to go outside and take advantage of some of that sunshine. You guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.